Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical report events. And in the previous video, we created one program with three inputs, and all these three inputs I created through select option. Now, in this program, we will start applying the events one by one. And we will start with the first event and our first event is initialization. Now we all know event always trigger by a action or event always trigger at some specific time. Now we will firstly understand at what time the initialization event will trigger. This event calls or this event trigger before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Yes, the first event is initialization and this event trigger before displaying a selection screen or input screen. Suppose I am running this program. Whenever I will run this program, this is my selection screen or input screen. Before appearing this, before appearing the selection screen or input screen, which event is calling before that initialization event is calling. So whenever I will click on to this button, firstly initialization event will trigger. And then after that, my selection screen or input screen will come. Now, now we will go for the purpose of this event. How this event will be benefited to us. Initialization event is calling before the selection screen or input screen. It means before displaying, whenever this selection screen or input screen will appear, before that I have a event initialization. In that event, I will write the logic. So whenever I will write the logic, that logic will appear on selection screen or input screen. Now clear, clear hint. So what is the purpose of initialization event? Its purpose is to give the default values. We can say default values or initial values to the parameter or select option. Simple understanding before the selection screen or input screen, we have an event. What is the name of the event initialization? In that initialization event, I will write my own code. But the code I will write, I will provide the default values or initial values to these parameters or select option. Then after that, yes, my selection screen or input screen will come and default values or initial values will display there. Widely, widely used event in the project. So what is the purpose of the initialization event? Firstly, this event calls at what time this event will call before displaying the selection screen or input screen before that. And if this event is calling before the selection screen or input screen, it means I can assign the default values to the parameter or select option because ultimately selection screen or input screen is what? It is all about parameter or select option. I will write a logic to assign the default values or initial values. Then my selection screen or input screen will come and default values will appear there. Now, what we will do? We will do the practical for the same. Now, to go for initialization event, the keyword is initialization. Now, we will assign the default value. Suppose we will take a requirement. 
we will assign that default values to order gate. We all know this is low, this is high. So what the default value will be assigned? High will be by default system date, system date. We all know what is suppose I'll say system date. What is the today's date? Today is 6th June. So high will be automatically 6th June. Tomorrow it will be 7th June. Yes, this high will be by default system date. I will give the system date. Now, what will be low? Low will be system date minus, suppose I will go for 100. Okay. So, low will be system date minus 100 days and high will be today's date or we can say system date. Okay. This is the default value we will give. Low will be system date minus 100. High will be system date means today's date except how we will give that default values. Now, again, previous topic should be clear. We all know select option is a internal table. Yes, it is a internal table. It is a internal table with header line, without header line. It is a internal table with header line. It means work area is same as that of internal table. Yes, both names will be same. And what are the four columns of that internal table? Sign, option, low and high. Now I will write the logic for the same. This understanding should be there. Only in that case, we will be able to write the logic. Now, what is work area? Because it is an internal table with header line. So work area, internal table, both are same. So this is internal table also. This is work area also. So what is first column? We all know sign. Sign is the first column. What is the length of sign? One. It always take the value I or E. I stands for include. E stands for exclude. Now I will go for option. What will be the option? You all know whenever you are passing low and high value, both the relational operator will be between PT, PT. If I will go for low value, then I will put the relational operator as equal to. Now I will go for low. Previous topic should be clear only in that case you will be able to understand this logic part. Suppose what will be the low value? Psi datum minus 100. We all know there is a system variable for that date that is called as psi datum. Whenever some variable starts with SY, it means it is a system variable. It is defined by the system itself. Psi sub RC, Psi tab X. So all those are system variable. They are already predefined. We are not defining. Similarly, for that date, the system variable is Psi datum, which will automatically take that today's date. Now I will go for high. And what will be the high? High will be today's date means psi data. So now we pass the record to work area. We all know values always pass from right to left. So we pass that data to work area. How it will go to internal table using which statement? Append. Append S underscore O. So here S underscore O date is work area. Here S underscore O date is internal table because work area, internal table, both are same because select option is a internal table with header line. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. So what is the summary of this video? 
in this video, we started with the first event. What is the first event? Initialization. At what time this event is calling? This event is calling before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Firstly, event is calling initialization. Then our selection screen or input screen is coming. And what is the purpose? Its purpose is to assign the default values or initial values to the parameter or select option. In our current scenario, we assign the default value to the order date. The low will be side data minus 100 days and high will be two days date. And we have written the logic for the same. In the next video, we will see all this thing in the debugging mode so that you can understand fully how the event is calling us and how the output is coming after that. So that's it in this video. Thank you.